that marijuana legalization is coming perhaps to all states. Is smoking pot a sin? Yes or no? <laughs> On that one, I'll, I'll give you a yes. Yes, okay. Dr. Mueller. And I'll let you, I'll let you tell us why, because what I'd like you to do is give me a yes or no, and then I want you to give me your theological case for that. At the same time? No. <laughs> yes. It's a sin. It's a sin. Mark? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Tom? Yes. Steve? Yes. Dr. McCarthy? Yes, absolutely build a theological case because I'm not aware of a Bible verse that says you should not smoke a big fat doobie. <laughs> right? There's no Bible verse that says that. Well, so Todd, what, how do you build the case? Todd, I, Paul, I, Paul says all things are lawful but I will not be brought under the power of any. And the answer to the question is, you know, people say, well, it's no different than drinking alcohol. You can drink alcohol and not have your mind altered. You can't smoke a joint without having your mind altered. That's the purpose of it. You've yielded up control to an external force that's been taken internal. It, is, it has the sole purpose to alter your consciousness, to diminish your responsibility, to diminish your accountability, to diminish you at every level of thinking, which then diminishes you at every level of function. It has no other purpose. Uh, it, it's, it's compared to drinking, but it's not the same because you can, you know, have a glass of wine at dinner and it doesn't alter your consciousness at all. But when you smoke a joint, that is the sole purpose of doing that. And, and that then yields up control uh, to, or I should say, it releases your self-control and that's always a sin.